In this paper, we focus on the depth perception problem caused by the VR and AR headphone displays show content in stereo. When displaying 2D content that is not at the same depth as set fixed distance, the human visual system is exposed to a mismatch between focusing on the display plane, accommodation, and rotating the eyes to see the object at its correct visual depth, vergence. This problem is called vergence accommodation conflict and does not happen with the normal real-world objects. The goal of our work is to quantify the effect of the vergence accommodation conflict on 3D selection performance in stereo displays. We aim to identify if multifocal displays cancel the negative effect of the depth perception issues that affect interaction in single focal displays. Our contributions are, we evaluate virtual 3D target selection within arm's reach. We identified that virgin's accommodation conflict significantly affects 3D selection performance for targets at different visual depths. We described the first virtual hand selection study involving a multifocal stereo display to evaluate user 3D selection performance. Our results confirmed that virtual hand selection with multifocal displays improves user performance compared to single focal displays. Inspired by Akalei's prototype, we built a VR AR multifocal stereo display apparatus that eliminates virgin's accommodation conflict at several distances relevant to our work. We present a novel double conical marker that affords a critical calibration for multiple depth planes in stereo display systems. The presence of a virgin's accommodation conflict causes several problems in the human ocular system. First, the virgin's accommodation conflict affects depth perception. Another problem caused by the virgin's accommodation conflict is visual fatigue. The virgin's accommodation conflict also affects the performance of the visual system. For example, it lowers the speed of the binocular fusion and increases the virgin's latency, making people overshoot their virgin's movements for non-blurred images. One limitation of all previous research mentioned here is that it is focused only on visual perception, but not on the consequences of virgin's accommodation conflict on interaction with the displayed content. Inspired by Akalei et al's design, we created a novel stereo display. For each eye, our stereo display uses two beam splitters and a first surface mirror to show three images at different depths. The beam splitters and the mirror are angled 45 degrees to reflect images from the perspective 4K 32-inch monitors placed above them. In the visor, we use two beam splitters to separate the views for each eye. We used six virtual cameras located at the user's head position to render the four potential targets. We rendered the targets either at the top, center, or bottom parts of a mirror, which corresponds to images displayed on the front, middle, or back mirror. The optical path for the front targets was 40 cm from the eye of the user, and two middle targets were at 55 cm, and the back targets at 7 cm. Each target was visible only in the camera corresponding to the their mirror position. In the multifocal condition, each target at a different depth was visible in a different mirror corresponding to the distance from the user. In the single display condition, all targets appeared on the backmost mirror, the one that is 70 cm away from the user's head. As the input device, we used a 3D wand with a soft button on it, like the button on a regular mouse. For calibration, we designed and 3D printed a custom 15 by 30 cm calibration platform, which enabled us to verify the match between real and virtual content. On the 3D printed platform, we placed novel, small, custom designed 2D cm hard glass like calibration objects at specific locations, which then allowed us to verify the visual alignment between virtual and real objects. Our new hard glass like calibration shapes provide a high contrast visual target regardless of which angle they are seen at. We recruited 24 unpaid participants from the local university community. We used a 2x2x2 within subject design. The three independent variables were display type, single versus multifocal display, AR versus VR, and two movement directions, lateral versus depth. In the lateral conditions, alternating targets were placed at 55 cm, while the depth condition had alternating targets at 40 cm and 70 cm distance. To vary the test difficulty, we used three different target sizes. 
Time results were significant for display type, movement direction, and index of difficulty. According to these results, subjects were faster with the multifocal display than the single focal one and faster with the lateral movements compared to the movements in the view direction. While our highly controlled tasks exhibited only a small difference in time, more varied 3D pointing tasks, as those encountered in the practice, will likely exhibit a larger difference. The error rate was significantly different for the display type and index of difficulty. According to these results, the subjects had lower error rate with the multifocal display than the single focal. Triplet results were significant for display type, ARVR, movement direction, and index of difficulty. According to these results, participants' throughput was higher with multifocal displays for AR and for movements along the view direction. There was also interaction between display type and axis, and we observed higher throughput with the multifocal display for depth movements. Overall, our results identify that the presence of vertex accommodation conflict affects movements with the change in depth negatively. There, users need to constantly deal with the changing and conflicting versions and accommodation cues to accurately hit the target. The presence of versions accommodation conflict globally decreases user performance, as the performance for the movements with no change in depth was similar between display conditions. The second contribution of this work identifies the impact of multifocal displays on user interaction. In the comparison between single and multifocal displays, we found significant difference for time, error rate, throughput, and ballistic time. According to these results, participants were slower, made more errors, and their throughput performance significantly decreased with single focal displays. Our results provide strong evidence that the application designers should avoid displaying targets at varying depths to avoid a drop in user interaction performance with current single focal stereo display systems. For multifocal stereo displays, system designers should consider including at least two focal planes within reach of the user as well as a far focal plane. Additional research will be needed to verify that constitutes an appropriate set of focal planes that works well for both viewing of as well as interaction with the virtual content. Our outcomes apply to all display systems that have only a single focal plane within arm's reach. Yet, our results also show the importance of evaluating user interaction with and without a change in depth for other types of stereo display. The clear difference in lateral and depth movements observed in this work presented here highlights the importance of additional research on such models. Thank you for listening, and we will be happy to answer your questions.